hello everyone in this video i will discuss about golden rice that what is golden rice how golden rice can be produced and what are the benefit of this golden rice so without any delay let's start the video so first of all what is golden rice so golden rice is a variety of rice in which the genes for the synthesis of beta carotene which is a precursor of vitamin a so these genes has been introduced in this golden rice so that now the vitamin a can be synthesized inside this rice so in simple words you can say that the golden rice is a variety of rice which is enriched with vitamin a and why vitamin a is there due to the transfer of genes that are required in the biosynthesis of beta carotene so generally the white rice it do not have you can say vitamin a in it so scientists just transfer the genes which are required for the vitamin a synthesis so they transfer these genes into the rice and now the rice which has the vitamin in it that is known as the golden rice and why it is called as golden rice due to its color as you can see in the picture here so the golden rice is just a yellow in color and this yellow color is developed due to the beta carotene because we just introduced the genes for the beta carotene so due to the beta carotene the uh, color of this rice turned to be yellow color so that's why the name given to this rice is golden rice now the biochemical pathway of beta carotene synthesis means in order to understand the golden rice properly you should go through the biochemical pathway of the beta carotene synthesis that how the beta carotene which is a precursor of vitamin a synthesized so here these are the reactions which are involved in the biochemical pathway of beta carotene synthesis so here you can clearly see that at the first step this isopentenyl diphosphate it is converted to this xeranyl xeranyl diphosphate now in the next step this xeranyl xeranyl diphosphate converted to phytoene and which with further steps ultimately convert to lycopene and finally to the beta carotene which is the precursor of this vitamin a now as you know there will be some enzyme that will carried out these reactions so these enzymes are first is phytoin synthase which convert this xeranyl xeranyl diphosphate to the phytoin and the next enzyme these are the phytoin desaturase and the carotene desaturase which are involved in the conversion of phyto into lycopene and finally the lycopene beta cyclase which ultimately convert this lycopene to beta carotene so this is the biochemical pathway along with the enzymes for the synthesis of beta carotene but the white rice it do not have these enzymes so as it do not have these enzyme so ultimately there will be no production of vitamin a in the normal white rice so that's why the normal white rice they are deficient in vitamin a so now what the scientists did so they just create a new variety of rice which is known as golden rice so how did they do this that will be clear in the next slide so the golden rice again this is the same pathway for the synthesis of beta carotene and enzymes are again same so what the scientists did they just transfer the genes of these enzymes to the white rice so that now the white rice is able to make the vitamin a so the genes for these enzymes transfer so the first gene is psy gene that code for the phytoin synthase and the gene was taken from the daffodil so as this gene code for the phytoin synthase the next gene that was crt1 gene and it was taken from the bacteria and it encode both of these enzyme 
that is it will encode both these phytoin d saturase and the carotin d saturase the next gene which was transferred to the golden rice that was the beta lcy gene and it was also taken from the daffodil and it will code for the enzyme that is lycopene beta cyclase so now you can clearly see all the genes that will code for all these enzymes are now transferred via transgenesis to the rice and now the rice developed it will synthesize vitamin a in its edible parts and its yellow will be changed so its color will be changed to yellow due to the production of this beta carotene and hence it is named as golden rice so the golden rice has the complete these three genes and they will code for these enzymes which are required for the synthesis of beta carotene so as the golden rice again why golden because due to the presence of this beta carotene the color of rice changed to yellow one so that's why the name given is golden rice now this is the summary that the genes which were transferred to the golden rice that was first gene that is psy gene which was taken from this daffodil that is narcissus pseudo narcissus and the enzyme which it code that was phytoin synthase as i told the second gene which was taken that was crt1 gene and it was taken from the bacteria that is arvenia uridivora and it code for two enzyme one is phytoin desaturase and other is carotene desaturase the third and gene that was beta lcy gene and it was taken from again daffodil and it code for the enzyme lycopene beta cyclase so these are those genes that was transferred to the golden rice in order to synthesize vitamin a in the edible part of this golden rice now the procedure means how you can go for the transfer of these genes so here we will utilize the uh, you can say the technique that is transgenesis so what we can do first we just take the genes or you can say we just isolate the genes which we want to transfer so here in the case of golden rice all the three genes which i just discussed previous so these genes they are just you can say these are just isolated and in the next these genes are now incorporate with expression vector because we want the expression product of these genes or we want these genes to be expressed in the rice so that's why these genes are now integrated into the expression vector which are generally the ti plasmids and in the next step is the transfer of these genes to the rice so for this we make the use of agrobacterium which will naturally carry our gene to the rice so for these the agrobacteria they are added to the petri dish which contain the rice embryo so as these agrobacterium infect the embryo so they will transfer our gene to the rice because this agrobacterium they contain the ti plasmid that contain all of these three genes so as it infect the rice so it will carry our gene to the rice endosperm and as the genes are now in the rice endosperm so the plant developed from these rice embryo will now have the rice that have the vitamin a synthesized in their endosperm so now as these rice are rich in vitamin a so the persons consuming these rice which will now get the requirement of vitamin a from these rice so this is how that how we can go for the production of the golden rice by the trans genesis so this was all about the golden rice its various you can say the properties or benefits and production process so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much